Today I want to talk about uh, one of our featured diseases, tuberculosis. This disease, I think, has uh, an interesting history, and one of the reasons we included it in this unit is because you have to really consider it a re-emerging disease. In the 16 and 1700s in Europe, uh, nearly one-third of all individuals died from tuberculosis as the leading cause of death. This insidious bacteria uh, was devastating uh, to the population. And then has sanitation, has uh, health uh, conditions improved, uh, we got tuberculosis under control and had it that way for uh, several centuries. But recently, in the last 30 or 40 years, tuberculosis has dramatically reared its ugly head again uh, around the world. A lot of it due to the fact that we have large populations that live in very unsanitary, uh, unhealthy conditions. And of course, the other aspect of this is the very close association between tuberculosis and people who have uh, HIV, particularly once they get the symptoms of AIDS. The tuberculosis bacteria itself is really interesting from a microbiologist's point of view. This bacteria has a very interesting cell wall. It contains a lot of uh, lipid or fat material, making it difficult for drugs to penetrate and uh, kill this organism. And it's a slow grower. And uh, things that grow slow are usually more resistant to drug treatment. So it has uh, these two features that make it difficult to treat. Uh, how is tuberculosis spread? Well. It's spread by aerosols. People have this. It's a lung infection. This organism uh, requires oxygen in order to uh, grow. And of course, the lungs are the perfect habitat for this. But once it gets in the lungs, it can wall itself off in the air sacs of the lungs, uh, calcify, form calcified scar tissue around them. These little tubercles then become uh, pockets of tu for tuberculosis to hang out and resist treatment. We have two groups of people very similar to HIV, where we have HIV positive and then we have people with AIDS. In tuberculosis, you can acquire the organism, you can have it in your body, but you'll have a latent infection without any symptoms. It's only when your health becomes compromised, when your immune system becomes suppressed or damaged, that tuberculosis can really have a heyday uh, in a person's body. Then we get an active TB infection and lots of bad things occur there. In fact, the tuberculosis bacteria in many cases can leave the lungs and cause infections in other parts of the body. But eventually it will destroy the lung tissue and uh, the person will die. Over 20 years ago, the World Health Organization realized that tuberculosis was on the upswing again, uh, declared it a, a, a global uh, epidemic, and that status has remained to this day. Uh, tuberculosis uh, causes uh, millions of deaths around the world each year, a lot of it really associated with HIV. Uh, what are the risk factors? Well, if you're in a developing country where sanitation is poor, where your immune system is constantly in battle with lots of other organisms, where uh, your nutrition is poor, uh, you could be really at risk for this. So here's the other crazy thing about tuberculosis for most people, and that is we're used to having strep throat and taking antibiotics for 10 days. But with tuberculosis, because of the factors I mentioned concerning its microbiology, you have to take the drugs for four to nine months. And it's not just one drug a day, it's often three. And you have a whole drug regimen. Why do we have to do this? Because tuberculosis has the capacity to become drug resistant. We now have two types of general strains of tuberculosis circulating around that are causing all sorts of problems in the public health world. Uh, multiple drug-resistant tuberculosis, and then extremely drug-resistant tuberculosis, a form of tuberculosis that essentially is, is immune to all of the known drugs we have to treat it. Therefore, to acquire this infection is to really get a death sentence. Uh, how do we monitor it? We use a TB skin pest, which many people have had, which does not indicate whether you have an active or latent infection, only that you've been exposed. There's a vaccine developed nearly 100 years ago that uh, has some capacity to provide immunity, but we don't routinely give it because of its low uh, efficacious nature in causing the immune system to function. Well, tuberculosis, uh, a huge scourge several hundred years ago, that shaped a lot of things, uh, particularly as we talk about in this section in the arts, and a disease that has reemerged recently and uh, is creating a lot of havoc around the world.